Welcome, welcome to our YouTube, YouTube channel. channel. My name is Esme. And I'm Roger. And, and welcome, welcome to Roger, Roger and Esme Vlogs. So for today's topic is... Don't do this in the Philippines. Ooh, okay. So, maraming salamat sa yung suporta o pagigugma sa among channel. Thank you so much for your support and love, guys. Again, if you're new to this channel, click the notification bell for new uploads and new updates. And don't forget to share, love this video, like, and subscribe. <laughs> okay, so uh, let's start. And there are some points also that we need to discuss or talk about this subject, which is don't do this in the Philippines. So first is avoid paying big bills next Ooh. is avoid taxi scams yes and don't leave your valuable things don't wear expensive things and be patient okay now let's go back to number one um avoid paying big bills meaning to say if you buy something in a store or um let's say calendar yeah or it's like small you know store and don't um, use big amount of money, let's say 1,000. If you're buying like just a small, uh, like for example, an amount of uh, 50 or 100, don't pay or use 1,000 peso. Because mostly here in the Philippines, if you have that amount of money, mostly they, they don't have like a change. And it's like hassle for you to find um, someone. someone which is has a change, right? And much better for you to bring um, coins, uh, yeah. small bills. True. So maybe you're wondering, what are those small bills, Asmi and Roger? So small bills like 50 peso, 20 peso, 100 peso, not just like... Uh, those bills too, you could also have coins like 10 peso. Um, I know guys for you, it's really hassle because if you have coins in your pocket or yeah, your pocket, you feel like it's heavy. It's for you, it's not convenient. But believe me guys, it's really useful here in the Philippines, especially for small carinderias and more small sari sari store or convenience store. Most of them don't have change for big bills. Yes, uh, maybe 500, it's fine. And if you want to ride, like, let's say, um, public transportation, uh, yeah, much better to use uh, small bills, like 200, 150 low. Yeah, because most tricycle drivers or pedicab drivers, since lang po sa umaga, meaning to say small coins in early in the morning. <laughs> coins early in the morning. So you have to remember that, that you have to bring as uh, small bills in your pocket yes yes next is taxi scam yes you have to avoid taxi scams so for example you have okay this is uh, like common here in the philippines if you have you only have 1000 peso in your pocket and then um the, the taxi doesn't have any change that would be also a hassle right so the the taxi would ask you and yeah they would take uh, he would take advantage of asking you um a big amount of fare right yeah instead of knowing the exact fare we he would really act that it, as if it's a bargain it would be your advantage no it's not guys because believe me most of it if you would check the meter the price would be lower compared to the one that he's offering Yes, you have to avoid that and every time you're here in the Philippines, especially taxis, scams really, really, yeah, they really exist, especially in Manila or Cebu. We're not saying that all taxis are the same, but there are some drivers who like tend to take advantage of uh, foreigners because they know that you have or you can afford this amount yes true next is don't leave your valuable things guys because as you all know 
there are a lot of coincidences that some helpers or cleaners in your room, especially if you are staying in just an average hotel that doesn't have a very strict security, right? Um, some cleaners would take also an advantage, especially if they notice that you have a lot of equipment with you. Yeah, we're like important, valuable things. Let's say, for example, laptop or gadgets, camera or money also you don't leave it in your uh, room because yeah uh, who knows right yeah. and not only that in in public places as well you should be uh, careful don't just you know um, leave your things in on, on public table. places or let's say table if you're in the restaurant or like any place so yeah. much better for you to have to be careful true because you know guys when it comes to public areas um, especially if you can see other people lurking lurking around of course if you would try to be un like unaware about your surroundings and you would just leave your laptop there there is a huge tendency that that person can get your laptop or he would just pick it and run ran away yeah. uh, well, here in the philippines so many like um big pocketers their hands is really fast yeah they Especially, steal like yeah your your phones your your yeah your like valuable things you have to be careful that especially if you are in public places Yes, and next is don't wear expensive things, guys. So it's the same as don't show off, don't like kiss. It's like a magnet to those people that has, uh, you know, bad intention. True. So it's like you're, you are really attractive to them. Especially those big packeters, you are really um, attractive if you have like um, flashy, things. flashy things or uh, expensive things. Let's say, for example, watch, uh, necklace, or those expensive things that you have. So, much better for you to keep it, especially if you are in a public places or like, let's say, downtown. It's really common. Uh, give you an example in Cebu Cologne, have uh, we have Cologne area which is a lot of people there you cannot notice who you are like you know uh, who is the person behind you yeah, who is the person behind you there's a lot of people surrounds you guys so much better to, to keep those uh, expensive things next and the most important thing patience guys this is the philippines it's a laid-back country people are uh, most people are not fast <laughs> yeah especially if you have something to process um you have to be patient not only in in the place where you want to process something but uh, atms you have to wait like yeah, you have to be patient because mostly that would be like in line and uh, there are some people that um, they would stay in the machine for how many minutes. So yeah, much better you have to be like uh, along. Be a long patient, extra patient guys because not only ATMs but restaurants too, everywhere. So everywhere in the Philippines you need to line and... <laughs> You need to have that extra patient because not all people can move fast. Yeah, so you have to bring extra patient if you want to visit here in the Philippines. True, guys. So I guess that's about it. Thank you so much for watching till the end. Yeah, it's already dark. <laughs> yeah, as you can see, we're already at the park, I think. Um, we'll be up 
a little bit busy nowadays this week especially in next week that's a reason why we don't have lives right now because we are processing the papers of Roger's dad for the surgery yes so just an update um, today or this week we'll be going some uh, laboratory checkup so here in uh, San Carlos and then after we have all the requirements we will go to Bacolod so hopefully this week or if we cannot uh, have like all the requirements like this week so probably next week we will be going to Bacolod so um, yeah for the lives um, I think um, for this month we couldn't make it for for our lives live stream because we're really busy taking care of him and preparing all this stuff so hopefully everything is okay after this month and then we can go you know we can do like schedule for for lives yes so thank you so much guys and i hope to see you in our next video bye, bye.